guys you've seen your lady here has prepared chapatis menewa vile ziko ninavutia my chapatis are nice there they go and i'm happy i know to cook eh? chapatis i'm the guru of chapatis people know they are very soft i'm waiting for my guest and i'll show you who are my guests they are coming to eat chapati and by the way i'm preparing i'm making chapati with ndengu or mug beans or pals it depends how you call them pojo wa mombasa i wish ningekuwa na nazi ningeweka si ndio just hold on tight you'll see what kind of meal i'm preparing today there are vitunguu of course you know that to be golden brown it is you to choose how you want your onions or translucent we used fresh turmeric by the way i'll show you how turmeric look like looks like now i'll put my turmeric my garlic and my ginger and kwa kitungu zero our our dengu in a boil you know you must boil our dengu it normally takes 45 minutes me i do because i love my dengu to be overcooked let me show you how fresh turmeric looks like this is our turmeric let me show you this is our turmeric when you cut you see it has a color yellow turmeric is normally yellow in color so this is turmeric and this is ginger ginger normally it's white inside let me just break it as between the turmeric and ginger ginger is white and turmeric is yellow need to use fresh things and remember my red capsicum of yesterday the one i i took from the from the kitengela greenhouses yesterday here this are making my dengu today i'm using fresh spices the organic spices I'm not using the grounded one from the supermarket. So it is like that. We put our one teaspoon of tomato paste. Sai nyanya season nimekuamba. Even I I showed you guys at the farm. I think that vlog for the farm will be on Monday. So I don't know why I'm referring as I showed you at the farm, but this one I'm going to put today as a kind of a short video. Tomato size nimekuwa bigari. So you have to use tomato and tomato paste. Pizza. I know you guys have missed my cooking, my simple recipes of cooking. Make sure these things are well done. The tomato, all the mixture we put here. Remember, I put tomato, one piece of tomato, one tea, one teaspoon of tomato paste, full red pepper. Or do you call capsicum? One big piece of onion, and then like a half turmeric, fresh turmeric, a half piece of fresh ginger, and then three cloves of garlic. Garlic is good for the stomach, so you make sure they are well done. Of course, we we'll put salt. By now, you need to know that I love black pepper. I have. Put like half teaspoon of black pepper. So let's wait for our food, for our food to cook well. I'll show you the end result. And by the way, it's a must. I put coriander. Coriander I put last option after I've already put all those mixtures plus the green gram. I'll show you. We have to like we put. like that and then we will stir you know because i think i am i i'll have visitors it's better we cook more and then we stir just as simple as that after this we cover for a while and then we come back i show how i put my coriander and that to be fresh even if you buy like bought it like three or four days you need to prep them in a in an in a lunch box like this 
or you need to cover you need to put them in a foil or a servit they will still remain fresh we are back after a short while now this is the time that i normally love putting uh what is it called coriander fresh coriander those people prefer coriander from the ones which are already in the supermarket that have already been processed but as we prefer the fresh one because we need you know i love the taste of coriander in the food so that's it we finished cooking we finished and then we have gas we switch off the gas to store maker but clean up i told you clean up clean up muhimu and of course i've not used the whole dengue some of them i've kept in the in the container i need to 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 refrigerate them but before i do because they are still hot i need to let them cool off first and then i put them in the freezer and that is the vlog of today i finished cooking just like that i told you i enjoy cooking like i'm i'm i have that passion of cooking and i think i also have that passion of helping others and sharing information so guys till next time two roots don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and sub yes subscribe if you're new subscribe subscribe just hit that subscribe button we need to reach 10,000 subscribers before 24th of april guys see you see you stay tuned or see you later